And another one bites the dust. Hello, folks. You're live. It's Monday night. Sherry Talk Radio, July 14th. If you have any questions for the show, you can send it to sherrytalkradio at yahoo.com. Now, the summer's been pretty quiet. Uh, as far as, well, I guess my emails have only doubled, so the usual quadruple during the school year. <laughs> but, uh, that's all right. A lot of people picking the show up on our archives and... Of course, everything's for free, folks, so I need your donations to keep that going. Uh, a couple things I wanted to talk about tonight. I absolutely had no idea coming into tonight what it was I would talk about. I just had no idea. And so uh, something caught my attention. That's usually how the Lord works. And uh, something that I'd seen a couple weeks ago, didn't really do anything about, just kind of set aside. So I want to talk about that tonight. You've all heard about the Super Hadron Collider that sitting over on the Swiss and oh who is that oh I'll get to it because I have it marked here <laughs> but what this is is uh, I was looking at this news article scientists fear nothing to fear from Adam Smasher and it's the Super Hadron Collider and I know I've had a lot of people asking me about about the Super Hadron Collider that they've been building and uh, it basically consists of a ring of supercooled magnets 17 miles in circumference attached to huge barrel-shaped detectors. Uh, and it straddles the French and Swiss border and buried 330 feet underground. And what they want to do, it's called the largest scientific experiment in history. Uh, it's supposed to begin in August of this year. Of course, they say uh, ramping it up could take a couple of months to get it to full power. Uh, but it's supposed to produce some startling findings for them and, and basically what they want to do. What they say they want to do is hunt for signs of the invisible dark matter and dark energy that make up more than 96% of the universe and hope to glimpse the elusive higgs boson and those un, uh, so far undiscovered particle thought to give matter its mass. And so, I, I, you know, when you, when you think about this huge undertaking that they're doing, uh, and the timeline that it's coming about, they want to they want to power this thing up in August. They want to be able to search the hidden things of the universe and break down particles and, and search for wormholes. And this thing could even create black holes. And, and they have no idea what this thing can cause. And they try to assure you that uh, you know the scientists are sleeping at night and there's only a one in fifty million chance of something going wrong with this thing. And it's almost akin to winning the lottery. Well, you know what? Every week someone still wins the lottery. So, and so it's an event that happens. It's not something that can't happen. It's an event that does happen every week. Uh, and this thing does uh, create a lot of concern for people that have a brain. So I guess you could pretty much minus out everybody in the scientific community, because they obviously don't, and leave it to the little people here on Earth that thinks something like this could be pretty dangerous to the effects of our Earth and universe. And from what I've seen coming, I would not I would venture to say that this has something to do with all the disasters that are coming. I mean, is it that far? Look at the timeline. This thing gets powered up in August, and we know that in our near future, we're going to be seeing uh, catastrophes the Earth has never experienced before. And this kind of uh, machine isn't out to protect and stop these things from happening. Uh, so it's one, it's either the cause, uh, or, uh, you know, and that's what I think, is, is looking at the timeline, that this thing is the cause for a lot of these things. I said last week on the show that the Lord will use man to fulfill prophecy. Now we know that the earth is going to shift on its axis. We're going to have massive weather warfare here on this planet. And it's not always the government's doing it. Sometimes it's just the Lord's outright anger that can cause things to happen. But a lot of times he does use man to fulfill his wishes. And so, you know, you look at the Super Hydron Collider and the timeline that it's coming and all the things coming in the future. And it very well could be the cause of the earth shifting on its axis, uh, of the earth practically flipping upside down. All of these things coming to, coming to pass that the Bible has talked about. Uh, another thing that interested me is, is 96% they claim of the, of the universe is consisted of invisible dark matter and dark energy. And that is because we're surrounded and inundated every day by the third dimension. 
uh, are not the third, the fourth dimension. They haven't figured this one out yet. Some of them have. They won't talk about it. The fourth dimension, folks, is the spirit realm. It is uh, uh, Satan's kingdom. Uh, and you look at how much of it is involved around the earth. I talk about how there's a council above the earth that rules over the Illuminati. And that the Illuminati is just the children of these aliens that are ruling over the earth. They're all hybrid creations. They're hybrids. That These beings are from the fourth dimension. Uh, and there's nothing good in the fourth dimension. Now try to tell that to these New Agers who think that there's ascended masters and gods of light of being, light beings and, and everything else. They use religious terminology to refer to them as. They're all from the fourth dimension. They're all from the spirit realm. And that is where this dark energy, dark invisible matter is. And everything in creation is balanced as well. Kind of had that yin-yang effect. And what I, I really think is going on, one of the other aspects of this, this hydrogen collider is they're not seeking the negative and the, and, the, and the dark energies. They're going to try to suppress the living force energies of the Earth. That's what has my concern. And so I asked a, a friend of mine who's a, a physicist, uh, you know, one of these brains, <laughs> one of these brainos, he's probably listening to my show. Don't take offense. Uh, he knows all this science stuff and all this physics stuff. And, and, and so I asked him about this, this super hydrogen collider, what his thoughts on it were, uh, and, and made my own statement that uh, I thought the whole thing, uh, that they're, they're bringing this thing out now, is to try to suppress the life force, the living energies of the Earth. Uh, one of their ways of combating our orgone energy, the natural living energy of the Earth, because orgone is, is the same... Uh, same thing as, as what the earth already produces, a natural living energy. And so they work together. We're helping the earth pump, keep pumping living energy into the atmosphere. And of course, this living energy is what embattles and battles against the dark energies of the universe, which is the fourth dimension. Uh, and so it's a constant battle. Uh, and so I wanted, you know, uh, because we've been very successful with getting this ore going out around the world, across the country. Uh, I know we've, we've knocked out many of these dark uh, fourth dimension bases that were under the earth where these aliens reside, these fallen angels. People want to think of them as, as extraterrestrial beings from galaxies millions of miles away. It's all a bunch of hogwash. They're in our own earth. They're in our planets, our moons, our star systems. They're right around our own universe. Uh, and they're held here, too. They can't go off anywhere else. And, and so we're surrounded daily uh, by these, these fourth dimension beings. And so I asked my friend what his thoughts were on it. Uh, and he and he personally had seen more than one purpose for this thing that they could be accomplishing other than uh, the production of the Higgs boss and finding that, which he described as a scalar wave form of energy. He considered it as an excessive energy production for quantum mapping and, and controlling of time and now it's people and humanity. So a way to control time, to, to, to perhaps even stop time. This is the energy he described that binds the energies of the matrix and feeds and displays the energy forms of the energies of the quantum fields matrix. It would be like giving their weather control and mind control energy and chemical program a big shot in the arm and have to take it to the next level. They will keep loading these energies to overcome and control Earth's life forces to the point they will create a situation that has not been mapped out in their science manuals. And so this is, this is a, 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 as I was reading also, bigger and better weapon for them to use in mind control technology. And it, it would also be some kind of a, a tool that allows them to read people's minds, be able to hear what they're thinking. Uh, and you've kind of seen Hollywood hint at this kind of stuff.